He liked to throw food on their naked bodies and slather it on them. King Azenor II of Winery is known for his six wives and having quite the scandalous sex life, gaining him a large prolific reputation across kingdoms. His first wife was Unira. She was the daughter of the noble Edet family, and her father was lord of the Idej region in Winori. This region was known for its distinct culture in Winori, and for many years acting much more independently than the rest of the empire. This marriage was done to better connect the region under the Winnery royalty and rule. The second wife was Lady Miwika, of the nation of Friedrich. Lady Miwika was married off to Azenor for an alliance between the two nations. Miwika was stated to be very happy and excited to be wed to the king, as this made her feel important in the royal family because she was not in the main line of the royal family she often felt that out of the family's importance. The third wife was Mikachini of the Meijing dynasty. The dynasty was far from Winori. The marriage was organized by their king because he kept having daughters and wanted to ensure the future of his dynasty. So he wed his firstborn daughter to the king of Winori because of Winori's great power and influence that he thought would secure the future of his dynasty. The fourth wife of King Azenor was the Lady Hansaja of the Kingdom of Trisaj. The royal family of Trisaj organized this marriage to hopefully gain greater protection for their country by the Winnery Empire. With a love for learning and studying, Hansaja was renowned for her knowledge of medicine and healing in many spiritual and physical ways. She used this knowledge of healing to gain influence in the empire through the king, the courts, and the people. With the king, she would often acted as a place of emotional healing for the king after times of stress and despair in his day-to-day -day life. She also helps to maintain his physical health with herbs and healing with rituals to calm his mind and his body. To influence the court more Hanseya as queen, she worked to mend political rifts through careful dialogue and the use of spiritual means such as meditation to ease the political climate of the empire. Hanseya also built a strong reputation as a healer and peacemaker. She helped put in place health programs using her knowledge and resources. Her compassion and ability to heal and mend issues strengthened the perception of the monarchy in the public's eyes, making her a valuable part of Azenor's firm rule in Winnery. The fifth wife of Azenor was Princess Nianu of Fridaraj. The king of Fridaraj married off his daughter to King Azenor in hopes that Fridaraj could become under the Winery Empire while also maintaining independence and self-governance. This marriage also caused large negative feelings with Azenor's second wife Miwika, because she was fine with the king's other wives until the king decided to marry her cousin. This made her feel less important because of the fact that Nianu was the princess next in line to the throne and that their marriage was made so that all of Fridaraj would become a part of Winnery, making her marriage that was made for an alliance meaningless in her eyes. The sixth wife of the king was the first in line princess to the island nation of Haydn's throne, Princess Connorin. The union was organized between the two kings so that Haydn would become part of Winery. Connorin became first in line for the throne after her two older brothers both ended up dying at sea traveling to another kingdom for negotiation talks that their father insisted they should go to. The king wanted her to marry him because by marrying the winner and king their kingdom can be protected and their lineage can be segmented in the mainland powers. But beyond his wives, there were rumors of a secret lover of Azenor, a common woman. There were reports from knights and guards in the king's castles, seeing the silhouette of the king going out of the castle some nights. The king walked down a slightly forested area close to the castle then arrived at a field with tall pieces of grass that gently swayed in the soft wind, with the rising sun in the back, illuminating the expanse. Azenor's eyes lit up, seeing a woman standing in the distance, and ran towards. The woman's face is marked by a gentle yet profound beauty. High cheekbones, softened by the warmth of her smile, frame her deep, expressive eyes. There's a kindness in her gaze, a depth that speaks of her intelligence and compassion. Her skin is sun-kissed, glowing with health and the touch of the open air. Her hair, loose and wavy, cascades over her shoulders in a cascade of soft brown, highlighted by the sun's rays. She smiled softly at Azenor. You seem quite prancy, she said as Azenor caught his breath. Azenor chuckled while sitting down. Well, when I get a chance to see you, Alara, I have to make sure to take it. Alara sat beside him. Is the job really that bad? she said playfully. Yes, 
Recently, they've been trying to organize another wedding with a royal from Friedirag, Azenor replied. Azenor returned back to the castle soon after so no one would notice. But the most scandalous part of the king's rule, even more than the rumored secret love, was the book by a supposed lover or ex-lover of the king called Royal Passions that went into intimate detail about the king's sex life. The book was shared discreetly in the kingdom much to the king of dismay, and the government tried as much as I could to prevent the book from spreading, making harsh punishments for anyone known to have a copy or discussing it. The book went into it saying things like, to relax, the king would bury large. Groups of women to have quote-unquote fun with them. And the book also said when with women he liked to throw food on their naked bodies and slather it on them. The effect of this book was made worse because as knowledge of the book and its contents grew, the contents of it began being twisted. Once a man was arrested in a bar for saying, Yeah, did you know that the king likes to shove food in women's tender areas and quite literally eat them out? In the book, it also talked in depth about sexual rituals that the king liked to perform on women painting large symbols on the ground for women to dance nude upon. These symbols were elaborate using different images that were used to reference sexual parts. These rituals would also sometimes involve women wearing face paint on their bodies with the book saying that the king liked them to look exotic. Using various types of blacks, blue, whites, and reds, some saying that he sometimes liked a demonic look. Thank you for watching this story please. Like and subscribe to see other stories on my channel.